please don't judge me. Is it seeing me so difficult? Why are you looking at me? I want to be a great one I want to make a million dollars Good morning guys So this is one of those mornings when I actually don't feel like doing anything I still feel a little bit sleepy, just a little bit sleepy, but I should be good. In this vlog, I'm going to try to vlog every single thing about my week, like whether it's interesting, whether it's boring, whether it's, I don't know, every single thing. Let's get ready for the day, or for the week, I mean. <laughs> This is so good. So I had to change into something a lot more comfortable because my my nighty was a little bit too revealing <laughs> and i didn't want to come on camera looking like that i mean i'm trying to show my life but i'm not trying to reduce my buy price okay <laughs> hmm. let's look for what we're going to work <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what my feet is looking like. I'll definitely wear my shoe later, but I just wanted to show you guys what I look like. Very simple. I've had this jumpsuit since like forever. I also wanted to plug you guys in on this perfume. So someone actually gifted it to me and I totally love it. So yesterday I just randomly saw on Instagram the price. It's 8k. It's actually not that expensive, but it looks so luxurious. Like see the bottle guys. It looks so freaking luxurious. See the cork. Like it's so beautiful and it smells so freaking good. You know me, I'm all about living good, feeling good, living your baby girl life on a budget. So it's not so strong. At the same time, it's not so feminine because I actually do not like extremely feminine scents. So this is not too feminine and this is not also extremely masculine. Like it's just so good. Like, so yeah, this is it. Use it, buy it and thank me later. Okay, <laughs> let's get to work guys. So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah Now it's all just you got me on blast, damn You're over it, I've been done We're so toxic I want to go home I'm tired Ooh. Oh my Raza Jerope, you don't see? Hey, Alati Wale. Raza, can you see her? What's your bank? What's your salary bank? Access. Hey, Alati Wale. <laughs> Are you really joking? If I slap you, eh? Which can we play that one now? Why are you looking at me? Bye guys. 
<laughs> is that I stole your mouth? <laughs> Why don't you mind your business? Mind the fucking business that pays you. Why <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> See, in your life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Because God is always coming. He's never too late. A couple of you might feel like, oh, creating content is easy. What's there? It's not whipping out the camera and talking and everything. But it's actually not easy, especially for people like us that see this as a job, a full-time job. So a video was supposed to go up on Sunday. I couldn't because I was burnt out. I didn't know what else to film. I didn't know what else to say. I, like, and the last couple of weeks, it has seemed like a chore, actually, which I didn't want it to feel that way. So it felt like a job, like a chore. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I just have to put out video. I just have to put out video. I just have to put out video anyhow, anyhow, even even when I don't feel like it. I know that's being serious with your work and everything, but it started to seem so difficult because I stressed, I said I mounted so much pressure on myself. I just decided not to post for a while, just to get back into my real self and just get back into the real process of doing things for me because I don't want this to be work in as much as it is work in a kind of way it's actually serious business for me because I, I take my YouTube seriously like very very seriously but at the same time I want to enjoy it so I lost that part of enjoying it I don't know I think people call it creators block probably that was also what happened to me and if you've actually experienced that let me know in the comment section as a creator and if you're a content consumer just know that it's never always easy creating content people go through a lot of things behind the scene like you see a 10 minutes footage or a 15 minutes vlog at most and you think you know the person or you actually enjoyed the person's video and you think you have an idea of what's going on in the person's life trust me you don't you actually don't so yeah i just came in here to just tell you guys real quick like i've been struggling i've actually been struggling but i think I'm a lot better. I think I really needed the break and I'm so happy I took it. Yeah, that's the reality of things and I hope that you understand and you appreciate my content even more. Thank you guys so much for coming to my DM to tell me how good I'm doing. Like, it's so beautiful and it's so... It's so nice to know that people actually enjoy what I do because I mean, I do it for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. I know that was horrible, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the love and the support and your baby girl is back, okay? Experience and I came right here to battle was that I tend So another thing that actually surprised me when I came here. So another thing that so another thing that actually Whew. Two hours later <laughs> I'm so tired guys, I'm super proud of myself. I filmed two videos and one instagram reel like <laughs> your girl is trying to get her instagram popping so if you've actually not followed me please check out my instagram it's always here or here or something so the page is the olivia underscore i follow me on instagram and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay okay guys let me clear up here i'm so freaking tired guys Whew. let me pack up here here is a mess like here is a freaking mess should i show you guys let me show you guys what happens behind the scenes because i mean i'm not always organized especially when i'm filming so yeah let me show you guys what's happening behind the scenes you won't believe the mess girl you know see my bed scattered wipes clothes wig 
makeup what comb what's that book book jota eh. guys i'm not even proud <laughs> it's always a mess when i'm filming i won't even lie please don't judge me and i won't judge you <laughs> I know this is not good publicity, but um, I just have to be real with you guys to show you guys what happens behind the scene. It's never always perfect, okay? Let me actually put here an order and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> guys, y'all didn't tell me it was like this. Y'all didn't tell me that dog is mad, so just kindly ignore. Y'all didn't tell me that. Y'all didn't tell me that being an anti fiddle <laughs> of this dog. Y'all didn't tell me that being an anti feels this good. It's, it's another level of love and borderline obsession. Like, my sister, if you don't know, I have an elder sister, yes. She just recently put to bed. 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 Which one is correct? Put to bed. Put to bed. I went to squat, babe. So she just recently put to bed a bouncing baby girl. Like, so beautiful, so, so perfect. And I have been obsessed like clearly obsessed with this child and yo y'all didn't tell me labor was crazy so you would not tell me that labor is this crazy my sister called me when she was in labor and she was really in pain she was crying and i saw her in critical pain and of all people to call in this one it was me the emotional one that she called if she actually permits me to share the video with you guys i would definitely share but if not i'm sorry but yo she was in so much pain and i could see her go through so much pain and I just could not help. I was just crying. I was like, don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? <laughs> I'm not the worst person to call when you're, when you're in pain and crying because I will cry with you, okay? But yeah, I'm just so happy that that labor phase passed and she gave birth to this beautiful child. I'll put up my picture on the screen. I'll put my beautiful nurse's picture on the screen. I am Auntie Olivia. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Auntie Olivia. So my sister said she wanted a baby car and hell yes i went to get it for her please if i don't get it for my niece who else who else huh huh <laughs> i know i'm sounding so crazy but that's because i'm just so happy and i'm so excited so let me know if you're watching this if you're an auntie or an uncle tell me how it felt carrying your first niece or your first nephew for the first time like i've never seen her and i'm this obsessed and this in love with her so i should be traveling to go see my sister sometime later this year sure. but yeah i'm just so happy and i'm just so glad man like just a new addition to the family and the girl is so freaking as beautiful tell me how you felt when you saw your first niece or your first nephew or if you're even a first time mom tell me how it was because oh my labor no be yell <laughs> Labor no be yeah, but I'm so glad about everything. I'm so happy that our little bundle of joy is here. So on this note, guys, this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Do not forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, all that good stuff, man. You know, do it for the new auntie. Do it for the latest auntie. Okay. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.